Hello, my name is Jennifer Davenport, and today's video is going to be all about my very favorite Amazon home decor finds, so stay tuned. The first thing I want to share with you is this beautiful design book. If you want a book that will tell you the whys and hows of why she's put together a room, this book is perfect. This is by Lauren Lees, Down to Earth, Laid Back Interiors. I have this in my store as well, and I think it's a wonderful book. It makes a great coffee table book as well. The next thing I want to share with you is this beautiful, unique, and stunning picture. Look how it tilts. I mean, talk about a conversation piece at your table. It is super high quality. It's very heavy and it is made with recycled glass one of my favorites all right look at these adorable little trays there's three of them they're hand painted and when I'm decorating I like to add things that add a little bit of character to the room so this little one would be perfect to put your rings and jewelry in the middle size would be great on a desk to put your pens and pencils. And then the larger size would be absolutely perfect to put soap and lotion. Next are these apothecary acrylic canisters. Now I love to keep a bathroom as neat as possible and this is a great way to do that. Each one you could put something different in. You could put bath salts in the tall one. You could fill this one with cotton balls and you could fill this one with q-tips or even nail polish. Just anything and the great thing about them being acrylic is if they get knocked over there will be no broken glass in your bathroom. Okay you know I'm gonna have a floral in here somewhere. And a lot of times you guys are always reaching out to me, where can I find the florals that we use in the store? Okay, I found some on Amazon. These are peonies and they are stunning. So let me start with the jar. Beautiful, beautiful vase, a very soft muted blue and a little bit of gold at the bottom. I love the fact that we have a little bit of color this time in our vase and some of the stems won't show when we put them in. Let me show you how I'm gonna arrange it. When you get these, they'll already be put together at the top. Don't undo that, just leave it like it is. But what I want you to do is just kind of pull down on each, the first one, just pull them down like that. So we've got like a little air area right there that's just really no flowers. Set that one in. And then the second one, we're gonna gotta do the opposite and pull up and spread them out and just put them in the jar and lay those on top. And what we've done is we've kind of added some height and we've also spread them around the jar. The next thing you're gonna do is add this eucalyptus. This looks and feels so real. Spread it out a little bit, tuck it in, and kind of just go around the jar and add it around each little flower and if it sticks out like this and you want it to kind of curve down remember I've kind of said this before in other videos don't just yank it into a triangle you want to bend it round that way it looks super natural This is a beautiful arrangement that you could use absolutely anywhere. You could put it in a guest bedroom, in your master bedroom, um, even on a porch or in your living room. Remember, florals just add that softness to any room. Now I want to show you this tray. I was really super excited to find this. It's a beautiful wood beaded tray around the edges. It's whitewashed. I'd love to use trays in design. This would be a perfect tray to put on your coffee table or you could put it on a kitchen island. Remember, decorating in threes makes the perfect vignette. Take a look at this beautiful mercury glass bottle. I love the etching on the front with the leaves and the flower. And I really like to use mercury glass in almost any vignettes that I do because it adds a reflective element to other pieces that you're pairing with it. And this would be, you could, you could absolutely use this bottle anywhere. You could put it on a shelf in your bathroom. You could put it on a nightstand or in your living room, or you could just remove the stop bottle and put flowers in it. This would just be super elegant. It's just the right size, and I think it would look good in any room. 
Next are these book boxes, and I chose them because of the titles. The first one is A Guide to Bird Watching. I'm always on my porch with my binoculars trying to figure out what birds I have in my backyard. And of course, the second one, A Well-Dressed Home. I love to decorate with books, and in the next few clips, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Of course, you can decorate books with bookends, and these bookends that I chose are super heavy. They're corbels, and I chose them because I love the patina on them. I love the weight of them. You can use this on a tray. You can put it on a bookshelf. You could do this set on a console in your living room, and these corbel bookends will look great with absolutely any decorating style that you have. These little mice are seriously on the top of my favorite list. They're cast iron. They would look good on books. They would look good on a tray. And these little guys actually sit in my foyer on a set of books on my entry table. Now I want to show you this beautiful chinoiserie jar. I was super excited. I found it on Amazon. I sell chinoiserie in the store and I love it in design and I really love this one because the blue was a little bit more of a muted blue and you could use this jar you could put it on a kitchen shelf you could put it on a living room table you could put it on your bedroom on your dresser you could just use it anywhere I think it is absolutely lovely and adding a pop of blue in any room will be beautiful next I want to show you this precious frame the frame itself is twigs it's got a little bit of a soft gold patina, which I really like to add some gold in almost every design. And I think it pairs beautifully with the chinoiserie and of course the little mice sitting in front. Next, I wanna show you this set of three greenery. I use greenery in almost every single room. It softens the look, it adds a little bit of texture and character, and they're really, like I said, there's just not a room I don't use greenery. And what I love about these, they're a set of three for $24, and the size is just perfect. I mean, if you wanna put them on a tray, or you wanna put them on a bookshelf, or you wanna put them on a little shelf next to a cookbook in your kitchen, they're absolutely the perfect size, and they look so real and beautiful. So this fat bunny honestly makes me laugh. I love bunnies. Um, I do not know what this little rabbit got into, but I just think he's just hilariously happy and I think he's just going to have to go on my porch. Lastly, I want to show you these wood beads with tassels. I have really started to use them in my design. They just add another layer of fun and texture. You could put them around a vase. You could put them around a pitcher like I did here. Or if you're creating a vignette on your coffee table, just lay them over some coffee table books. Well, I hope you enjoyed these high quality Amazon home decor finds. Let me know what you think. And if you would like me to make another video with some more of my Amazon favorites, be sure to leave me a comment. Everybody, I always appreciate you watching. Be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Jennifer Decorate. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. It tells you when a new video is going to come out. Everybody stay safe and stay well. Thank you.